G'day guys, it's Josh from Dodgy Dailies here, finally with a new video. Um, we've been really quiet. I think I've explained. I, so I've got some content coming with my Ford Courier. I explained a little bit there, but I'm explaining a little bit more now, because this one will be out before that one. But um, the reasoning for being quiet is... Stephanie and I are expecting a child. Um, he will be born in June. Um, so yeah, we've been getting our house prepped. I've been working fucking non-stop. She's been working non-stop. We've been getting shit organized. Um, but yes, there is more reasoning to the fact that we've been quiet um, in the next video. So I'll keep that one a little secret until then. Um, but today, we'll be doing some work on this shit box. Actually, no, <laughs> to be fair, it's probably one of the most reliable cars we've had, um, considering as a territory, but it's got one common problem at the moment, so, and that would be ball joints. So I've opted out to do the easy option, well, on this particular car anyway, it's got the entire lower control arm with the ball joint, and not the, um, not the tight where you have to press it into the hub, or the, the spindle, um, so, yeah, uh, we'll get into that in a minute, but, um, yeah, so there's a lot going on, Max can't be here to help me today because he, he sprained his wrist plunging a toilet at work, <laughs> um, yeah, so, I guess we'll get into the, the territory a bit, but, um, yeah, just gotta grab the... Stand. Oops. The rest of it. Uh, um, yeah. This particular territory. It's this control arm here. And then you undo your shock, and then you got that one there. So it's pretty easy to do this one. I have already done, so a lot of the work I've done on this car, it's, I've had to do it in a rush. So I've done the front cast bush arm, because it's easier and quicker, and it was actually cheaper to buy the entire arm than it was to buy just the bush. Uh, I've done front pads and rotors. I've done rear pads and rear shocks. Um, it does need, um, <laughs> eventually, <laughs> shock bush mounts, uh, I mean, fucking sway bar, sway bar mounts, but, um, it is going to need some diff bushes, um, oh, yeah, um, it is going to need some diff bushes, uh, gearbox mount and an engine mount, um, or engine mounts, but, yeah. We've got the car for three grand, so it's not too bad. It's a decent size for our first family car, so we will probably look at upgrading, but you know, gotta get these fucking ball joints done before a wheel falls off. Oh, I didn't record any of that, you idiot. Alright. So, really, all I've done was undo that nut, but I need to go find a 24 and a 22. So, I'm uh, just coming out of the back. And look in the, uh, the old trusty fucking mobile kit. <laughs> and... What have we got? Nope. I do know what 24 is in here because I used it last weekend.
I'm gonna need them. <laughs> Let's see if I can get to this one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need my spanners. So it seems like there might be a fair chance I need to get, because that really shouldn't be coming out that easily. I'm probably going to have to get my jack underneath here um, when I put the new arm in. And also I need to watch out my face in case it starts to shoot up on the brakes. Sorry about noise. that easy to pull out like that took me three minutes I think <laughs> including having to go get the bolts now we'll get this one open but um let's see if we can like yeah they're meant to be tight but I sh yeah I shouldn't be able to move it with my hand that easily um I can't really show you the play in this one um but yeah this one had a lot of play it was quite noisy um, this lower shock bush was a little bit flogged, and um, so was that inner one. So let's dig open this. Okay, um, screwdriver. Let's just put you up here for a moment. Hey. And yes, I very much need a haircut but I have plans. I'm growing my hair out for, for a good reason. So, and what do we got here? That's the left one, so I need to go over the other one out. check and one thing that I've noticed I've got these control arms off eBay gives you new bolts every fucking time which I do like that so whatever company it is I have actually no idea I just keep buying these parts through eBay um, but they seem to be really good and so far with the um, so far with the caster bushes Come on, flip around. Oh, I've blocked the camera. Uh, what have I done? 
Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. And the castables just seem to be holding up, and they were from the same people. So, yeah. Literally, for these cars, just jump on eBay, and it comes with everything, including new bolts. So, that's your best option. So, we'll throw these ones back in. cavity I'm just gonna fuck that off I always keep these for spares you never know when you're gonna need them but it is always good to have some nice fresh parts and nice fresh bolts as well Also, only opted to use the scissor jack because I'm on uneven ground and the it works so much better on the trolley than the trolley jack on the grass. There is a little gap right at the back there that you can sometimes get through. You can't always. I don't know why you can't always, but you can't always. size should be yeah so they will try to change sizes on you sometimes it's not a bad thing because it lets the next person that works on the car know what's been done uh, I'll just do that up a little bit but not the whole way try and get a spot Done up enough to hold it in place. I'm gonna bring this one up, take your old nut, take the get that nut off it. Try and run up the shock the best you can. And slap your old didn't give me a new shock bolt, but that's okay. One in it. There we go. Get on your 
that in. Sometimes you might have to give the top of the ball joint. Before you pull the hub out of it. As you can see, it shit does not always cooperate. Okay, new nut on. And then you can sometimes come in with a screwdriver on one side and then twist it down enough to get the bolts in. But I think what I'm going to have to do is put the shock in first. And then jack up, jack it up to fit. So, shock bolt, another on the back. I need to go find my jack. I'll be back. All right, so I've got the jack in place. I've gone up a little bit. Um, you see it's a couple of threads coming through. You just got to be mindful not to go too high so you don't lift it off your stands and make it a dangerous situation to work with. So I've got some threads through there now, so I'll just first check my size, and that's now a, now a 22 instead of the 21 it was. Just that one on. Don't want to go with your gun straight away. You can go with your spanner a bit just to get it started. Look, there is proper torque specs and shit, but I don't have time for that. Okay, so my socket's not deep enough. You also don't want to over tighten them because if you over tighten them you, you're risk snapping the ball joint. So yeah, they're a bit iffy on these cars. Alright. As long as you get in there. As long as it's in there nice and tight, you should be fine. Okay, and then we go back to the size of you. What have I got on there? I've got 22 on there. Oh, I've got 24 again. Do your shock up and then you do that inner bolt up. with um, only one 21 spot. Oh, I'll just jam the 20. Oh. Oh. And that one is nice and tight. So yeah. And then once all, every, once all that's tight, you just want to go back and check your ball joint. Make sure. Because it does carry quite a bit of load. So you want to just make sure that's tight. 
So yeah, that's the driver's side done. Well, mostly. Gotta get the wheel back on now. Ugh. Normally, I'd actually use a little pen on my phone, but it's actually stuck in my phone. But yeah. Driver's side done. Probably should have done this part to start with on the other side, but having it turned a little bit actually helped. So, um, yeah, so now we're just gonna. And of course, being one of my cars, it's got. Dun dun dun! Um, that's literally just because this car has no cat. Um, the cat punched itself out. Um, so yeah, we just turn those wheels. Do do do. And I'll just poke it out a little bit that way. There we go. All right. Get all the tools. All right. I'm gonna stop recording while I grab tools. It's easier with two hands. Now we're onto the left side. So basically, starting tutorial again, but I'm not really going to. So you know, you would have seen from the other one. That control on there. Blah blah blah. Your sockets. You're 24, 22. Where's the other one gone? 21. Spanners. 24, 22, oh sorry, 24, 24, 21, 22, and same for your spanners, a gun helps, so yeah, let's get into it, Oops, flip me over, oh, stop there, I'll edit that out. One good sign to a dodgy ball joint is that outer edge becomes smooth. Um, I will have to, okay, we, yeah, we, since we bought this car, we've done probably 50,000 Ks plus. Um, but yeah, I will have to look at rotating these tires or putting the spare on. Um, Cause that, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, I didn't even check the condition of the other tires. So let's, Go around again and have a look. So yeah, as you can see, this one here is also getting low on the edge, on that outer edge, and that is purely because of the ball joint. Um, so we may need to look at getting uh, two new front tires. Um, yeah. But 
once this ball joint's in, we won't really be on that edge as much, and we'll be more. It'll be more in that on these contact patches. So this is a rego fail. <laughs> um, it's not due for rego for a while, but yeah, we're definitely going to need to get some front tyres on it. Jesus Christ, we've done some Ks. All right, let's get this wheel off. ball joint is being extremely stubborn so I'm going to use the jack put some weight there to lift it up and then try hitting it again while it's got some weight on it and that might help I'll even slip the um, shock bolt back through and hopefully that helps So I got two wheel nuts so I didn't damage the threads. I got a block of wood under the jack. Put the shock bolt in, that's all loose, beat it a few times, and ta-da! Uh, yeah. That's not really that's not recommended to do at all. But it worked for this situation. And it may work for you if needed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just realised the time. I've actually got to get down at the Central Coast because I've got an appointment to go get a flu shot so I can go see my grandfather in nursing home. Um, I haven't been able to see him for a very, very long time <sighs> due to COVID really messing things up for me um, as I live over an hour away from the nursing home. And yeah, I'm in a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and which a big, big thank you to over the 500 subscribers we have now. Max has edited a video for the Pocket Bike giveaway. Um, I need to find out what he's doing with that, and then we'll go from there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I just got a quick word from Max. Um, quick little after afterthought. Um, just got a quick word from Max then. He has, in fact, edited it. Um, his internet's just being really shit right now and it's struggling to upload things. Um, so, the pocket bike giveaway may or may not happen. 
or the video may or may not come out before this one. Um, I have mentioned the winner in my in a, sorry in my newest courier build, well refresh um, video, just because it's just been hectic and we actually haven't me and Max actually haven't had time to fucking talk or chill or do anything ourselves. Um, so yeah, now that I've taken a little bit of time, so I'm still doing me nine to five Monday to Friday, or me eight to five I should say. Okay, oh kitty kitty. Um, anyways, still doing me eight to five Monday to Friday and the occasional Saturdays for work, but I'm no longer doing any cash work up until fucking after mid July, um, just to leave some free weekends. So then me and Max can actually catch up and get some content out for you. Um, yeah, and I've still got to finish sorting that fucking um, baby room out because I was using that spare room as a shed. Um, so I've got I've got me copy bassin out. I've got everything in there. I just need to finish cleaning all the shit out. Um, but yeah, so over the next few weeks, you might see some Tarago stuff. I don't know if people have been following Max and I on TikTok. So Max's one is just Do uh, Max from Do no sorry. Mine's Josh from Dodgy Dailies, and Max's one is Dodgy Dailies Max. Um, we have had little bits and pieces and snippets come up on there. I don't know if anyone's seen the Tarago bashing rim up in the Indusso, um, but I done fucked up and I crashed it. So there is the content to come out for that before our next event, which is to be confirmed whether or not we're actually going because I still need to fix the fucking Tarago. Uh, but anyways, I have an hour to get to Lake Haven. Very doable, but let's see how I go. Alrighty. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, and thank you so much for the 500 plus subs. We are so thankful. Um, keep up the good work, guys. Like the comments, the likes, the subs, the everything. Everything helps us just build this build this channel up. Um, anyways, I've got to go. I'm, I keep dragging this on. Sorry, guys. All right. Bye.